on Insometer. And um, this morning I could not sleep, and so I was just, you know, kicking around the craft room. Um, still trying to pick up this mess, but I feel so lazy. It's so messy. Um, there's so much stuff. But anyway, um, there is something that I've been thinking about doing. I think I had mentioned it in a previous video. And, um, and it's for Christmas. I really have to get started on my Christmas stuff. Um, I, uh, my Christmas card and everything is taking, like, weeks to figure out. So I figured, you know what, um, I like to step out of my head sometimes. And I've, I think I mentioned this also, sewing to me, it's, it's a little easier than just crafting because you go to, through a pattern. So you have a pattern, you kind of have somewhere to start. So it kind of helps me, you know, concentrate. So I remembered that I wanted to make little, um, um, decorations, some of them, you know, sew some of them and stuff, and, um, I used a pattern from the Crafting Christmas Gifts. I used, if I can find it, I used, I don't even know what I have, um, I used the Gingerbread Man, it's here somewhere, yeah, I used the Gingerbread Man, um, pattern, and I wanted to make it, uh, a little bigger because I wanted them to be small cushions. Basically, I made small cushions on uh, for the uh, for for our um, our sectional. So uh, I didn't want these darker, dark ones because our sectional is a brown uh, suede, uh, like ultra suede or something like that fabric. So it's brown. Our curtains are tan and brown and stuff like that. So I wanted something lighter, but I still wanted them to have you know the the look of gingerbread men. So. And the cool thing is, I kind of saw this one that has, like, little lines and everything, but whatever. I made some. Now, I've done it before. I've made some of them, and here is my first attempt at the Gingerbread Man. And it was a sad attempt. It looks like a, like, like, like a voodoo doll. It looks like a really bad voodoo doll. Um, so anyway, so I wanted to make them, and I went ahead and, and printed out the, the pattern. And... I wanted to make it larger, so I printed different sizes, and then I cut them up, and I saw which one was kind of better. I didn't want them to be too big, but I wanted them to be, you know, still workable. Um, so I blew up the pattern 300%. That's pretty big, I know. 300%. And um, so, yeah, so I went from there, and I used some fabric from Joann's. Let me grab it. And I don't know the number or anything like that. I just know that it's called khaki and it's kind of like the, it's well it looks like khaki. So um, khaki and then for the bow I, I used this fabric. I wanted to use like a red and green kind of Christmas but I didn't want it to be just so Christmas you know in case I'm too lazy to put them away and they're still sitting on the couch. You know whatever they'll be all right. So I used this one to make the scarves and I also used some um, stamp and a ribbon. So I'll show you guys that in a sec. So let me move this. Um, and here is my, my, my gingerbread cookie. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty big. Let me raise this here. It's, uh, yeah. So there it is. Um, it, this is at 300%. And, um, so it calls, I haven't sewn this one so I can show. It calls for you to, you know, to fold the fabric, um, put the pattern on and then cut it down the middle where is it? to sew it back up and I didn't want that to show so I decided since I was going to put a bow around it to cut it to um, turn it inside out Along and um, so I haven't sewn this one closed so you guys can see so it has the cut right here where you turn it inside out and everything so when I do sew it the uh, the bow will cover the stitching anyway and you won't see it especially if it's going to be on a couch you know if uh, People, company comes over and you know they see and they pick it up and it's not um it's not showing the uh the stitching there's a little thread there so anyway and then I got the fabric and I just cut it and then tore it um it actually worked usually it comes out really bad so that's one of them and I was gonna make them in different colors but I'm like you know what I'm just gonna make the same one because they're gonna be you know scattered on the couch throughout and this is that red striped uh stamping up ribbon so and of course you know I want several of them and I made five. I went ahead and made five. Now, I didn't put the little X's here because I didn't, um, on the stomach, like, um, like on this one, oop, like in the pattern, 
because I, I just actually kind of like them just like this. But I did use some, um, some, 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 what is that? Some, um, acrylic paint. Just, I went ahead and took, where is it? I took this, uh, large stylus, just dipped it a little bit in the pen, and then just dotted where the eyes are. So yeah, so that's just a little bit of pen. I was, I'm still debating if I want to put some blush on them or something like that. I can't find my chalk, so if I do go to the store, I'll get like a pink chalk or something again to rub in a little, um, a little, a little, little cheek, which I might just to kind of give it more color. Like I said, they're very simple and they're, they're pretty, they're very large. Where's my ruler? Um, they're about 10 inches, uh, wide and about a, and a foot tall. So I, I, yeah, I was just totally excited. Um, I was only going to make them with this, uh, with this bow, but I, this just basically, I was inspired by the picture on the, um, in the, in the, in the book. So I figure I'd do them like that. And they're just super cute. I didn't overstuff them. As you can see, they're not that stuffed. Um, I did, I try to get them as, 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 it feels as possible, but still a little flat, so they you know don't take up too much space on the, on the couch, so that they're still. I mean, seriously, it's like they're not even that wide, so they still they're very dimensional on the couch, but they don't just take up too much space. And I just did two with the red bows and, um, and, so, and three with the blue. I'm trying to find something here. I also. And talking about the gingerbread man, because I totally love to these till the gingerbread man. I'm actually using this. These I will. This will be an uh, upcoming project that I have as well. So these are paper with little bows. So just a little sneak peek. There you go. And um, do you guys want another sneak peek? Okay. Well, this is more like uh, an old peek because I haven't. I've been working on this other piece, and I just haven't gotten around. Let me move some of them and I just haven't gotten around to um to finish it I'm afraid to truth be told I'm afraid to because I can sew with the machine I'm just not that good Ooh, look at that it's snuck in the camera I'm just not that good at the individual like stitching so I actually already started making a tilde polar bear um I actually do have the the polar bear fabric that I got from um Stitchcraft Create but uh, this was using, I started this before I got the fabric, and it's using, I actually used this ivory velvet, which I truly can't even remember where I got it, because uh, to go back and get some more. Um, it's so soft, and it's not the crushed velvet, it's just smooth ivory velvet that I was actually going to use to make flowers. So yeah, so look how cute. I just need to, I need to, as you can see, it's pinned right now. I need to sew the legs um, to the body, and then add the facial features with the thread, with the um, embroidery thread. There's a little tail. So yeah, so that is my other sewing project. Cute, cute, huh? Totally, totally love it. So, and oh, and let me show you. It's, it stands and everything. Look how adorable. Or you could stand it like this. How cute is that? So yeah, I totally, totally started that. I'm just, I just haven't sewn it. I'm afraid to mess it up. So, but I might as well just do it and get it over with. Pull off the band-aid. So yeah, so there are my Christmas um, gingerbread cushions for my, uh, for the couch. I was thinking of making several and stuff like that for other things, but, you know, I might stick one here, stick one in like a little basket or something with some branches or some giant pine cones or whatever. I mean, but I can do whatever I want. I think... Uh, so yeah, because I made five, so I mean I only really need a few on the on the couch. So, but yeah, totally totally love them. I know this is totally random, but hey, it's you know what else can you expect? Um, so yeah, and hopefully if I can finish today or tomorrow, the project with the little little gingerbread man. So yeah, I it, I've been working on those for a while, just trying to figure this and that out to get it done. So yeah. So let me know what you guys think, and um, you know if you guys are doing some other projects, go ahead and show everybody, and they can see these awesome, awesome things. All right, so I will talk to you guys soon. I have like I don't even know what to say. Like I'm, I think this is one of those dorky things that I'm just like, hey, you know what I want to do today, and this is what I did. So it's not like an actual project or for anything or for a swap or anything. It's just 
truly, truly, this is one of those. Pro- the, the, this is one of those projects that are just for me and for for Nathan and my house. I actually told him about this before. I'm like, hey, I'm thinking about doing this and this because he knows that this year we're going to go for a rustic. Um, not so much as country, but just maybe just rustic Christmas and and simple um, because I want to make a lot of the stuff for it. So yeah, along with some polar bears and you know whatever. Um, and so yeah, so this is just basically for us for for our home. So you know, make something for you for every once in a while. It makes you know, cheer, just cheer up your bring in the holiday cheer. I just think it's crazy. I mean like. I'm already starting, and I really, truly, truly feel like I'm actually behind. Like, I'm running out of time for Christmas stuff. So, yes. So, get started on your guys' Christmas projects, and um, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, everyone.